Hello. Other dynamics determine how uh, paint changes over the course of the stroke. First of all, let's clarify the difference between uh, the two options that are available for a brush. One is opacity and the other one is flow. Well, uh, the um, result is uh, affecting the brush op opacity, but in different ways. Opacity is going to work for the whole stroke. Let's select now, let's say, half of the op opacity. So now I can draw like that. And when I'll put another stroke over this one, it's gonna be like this. And the flow, let's get down, let's put opacity back to full and let's get half of the flow down. Flow, it's working for the, for each brush tip shape. So if I drag this, the opacity is me is gonna be on the half for each tip shape. Opacity jitters and control specifies how the opacity of paint varies in a brush stroke up to but not exceeding the opacity value specified in the options bar. To specify a percentage by which the opacity of the paint can vary, you can type a number or use the slider. To specify how you want to control that, you can uh, choose an option from the control pop-up menu. Off specifies no control over the opacity. Uh, fade fades the opacity of uh, paint from the opacity value in the options bar, bar to zero. Um, and pen pressure or pen tilt or stylus wheel varies the opacity of paint based on pen pressure, pen tilt or the position of the pen thumb wheel. Flow and control specifies how the flow of the paint varies in a brush stroke up to but not exceeding the flow value specified in the options bar. To specify a percentage, you can uh, type a number or you can use the slider. To specify how you want to control the flow variance of brush marks, you can choose an option from the control pop-up menu. Off specifies no control over the flow variance of the brush marks. Uh, fade specifies the flow of paint from the follow value in the options bar to zero in some specified number of steps uh, or you can use pen pressure, pen tilt, stylus wheel that are going to vary flow of paint based on the pen pressure, pen tilt or position of the pen thumb wheel. You can also set other brush options. Noise is gonna uh, add additional randomness to individual brush tips Wet edges causes paint to build up along uh, edges of the brush stroke, creating somehow a watercolor effect. Airbrush, airbrush applies gradual tones to an image, simulating traditional airbrush techniques. Uh, smoothing produces smoother curves in brush strokes. This option is most effective when you're painting quickly with a stylus. However, it may produce a slight lag time in the stroke rendering. Uh, protect textures apply the same pattern and scale to all brushed presets that have a texture. You can select these options to simulate a consistent canvas texture when painting with multiple textured brush tips.